Okay, what is everybody? And today we are back again with another video. And first and foremost, thank you so so much for 2,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so so much for making that possible. It has been a one crazy road, and you guys have definitely been a big big part of this. I don't even know what I would be doing at this moment if we hadn't been gotten this far. And yeah, it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you all. And yeah, let's see where we can go this year. Let's see what else, what other goals we can reach. But with that being said, I'm still working on something a little bit special. I want to do something a little bit more unique. Probably going to be a hunting reserves around the world video. But yeah, I don't want to promise too much yet or give too much away. With that being said, let's get into the Silver Ridge Peaks hunt and let's see what we can find today. We're obviously going to be starting here at 6.30. I want to try and start off with some bighorn sheep move on to some mountain lions and then kind of finish off with some pronghorn and mule deer kind of in preparation for the new mexico map that is going to be coming out later on this year or well i should say probably in the next couple of weeks here if you haven't seen the reveal trailer or the reveal teaser trailer i guess i should rather say go check out the video uh, that i brought out on tuesday and check that out we talked about some theories some of the animals that we're going to be seeing there but yeah, let's get going into this hunt. Finally, finally, finally have I found myself a male bighorn to shoot. For some reason, all I could find was females everywhere. There's also a two in here. So if he's going to slow down like that, I will try and take a shot on him. And he should go down. Yeah, down he goes right there. Okay, sweet. Now, obviously, they're nothing major or anything huge, but... Still, I want to get them down because we still need a diamond bighorn. Actually, no, we got a diamond bighorn with the bow, didn't we? Well, I still want another diamond bighorn anyway, so we might as well get that. And like that, we can have a... Okay. And like that, we can have another look at these bighorn as well in kind of preparation for the new map. Considering that there is a rather good possibility that we could get some form of... Uh, big horn on that new map there now our two here first got ourselves a intestine stomach and a liver hit there's some interesting looking horns on there and then here is our three which to be honest uh looks basically the exact same and is not very big at all finally a level three as well that looks rather decent and if he follows the same kind of path that he does back there he might actually slow down and almost stop right there. And I know there's another three. No, not what I wanted. Oh, there's the other three. Oh, there's even a four there. Hello. Okay, well, um, I'm not going to get a good shot. Or am I? Uh -huh. <laughs> I am actually going to get a good shot on that. So we got a four and a three down. Very nice. And they both looked like they had a bit of the fatter slash bigger horn. So... Definitely an improvement to the last two that we got. And here is our three. And yeah, he is definitely a whole lot bigger. Even though he's just 10 points bigger than the one, his horns look like 20 times better than that other level three that we just got before. And then I'm curious what we actually hit on this for. Because I did not expect that we were going to drop that. But, oh, okay. We got an upper neck and skull shot. So we actually almost got brain. I was trying to hit this over here. But I kind of overestimated the distance, I think, there. And he is definitely a lot, lot bigger than the three that we just had. Since he is almost a 150 scoring big horn sheep. Now, what do you guys think about them actually potentially being on the new map or the new reserve? Would you guys like to see the big horn sheep? Or would you rather like to see a different animal make a return to this new map? I'd love to know, so write that down below in the comment section. Hello, that is a very nice Rocky Mountain Elk coming basically right at me. And I think that's actually a piebald. Um, is it? I think that is a piebald. <laughs> I think that is a piebald that actually looks very, very nice in terms of the rack on that thing. Not expecting that, but I will definitely not complain about it. No idea where it was trying to get to, because I'm pretty sure I don't have any elk's feeding zones or resting zones in this area. So I don't know if it was maybe, like, going away from a mountain lion here or something else. But we also have a gray back there. 
probably gonna try and get that in a second, but let's very quickly look if we can find anything better around. Well, let's start by shooting uh, this gray over there on the other side. Which, I think that should be a good hit. Maybe not. Maybe let's get a second one in there. Um, I wish I could actually see that thing, but we're probably not going to be able to. Then I know that there is another four in there. Yeah, just... Just one. Now, I know that there was another four somewhere else, but... Sadly, uh, it was all the way over on the other side um, of the Red Lake. So right over there, there were actually two of them. But probably somewhere in those trees there, there is a mountain lion. So that spooked that away. So sadly, we're not going to be getting that one. But we can come back there in the future and try and shoot them. Because if I would have run up here to pick up the elk, we would have uh, despawned those guys back there. So we couldn't have shot them now. And here is our Rocky Mountain Elk, and yeah, that is a piebald, if I'm not mistaken. And it is, it's a 404 piebald, level 4, with a beautiful rack, very uneven. This right one here is actually, like, a really big one. And then this, this one on the side here is kind of a big 3, small 4 rack. So, very uneven, but very, very good looking for sure. And yeah, you can clearly see there how uh, indifferent he is on both sides. Not not very <laughs> even at all, but I actually don't know how common slash uncommon the piebalds of these guys are now. Um, I know at the beginning these guys were like you would find piebalds literally everywhere, but I feel like they've become a little bit more rare, so yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys still think that they're that the piebalds for the Rocky Mountain Elk are uncommons? Or would you say that they are more of a rare now? Because currently I am not 100% sure. And look, there is that other four that I wanted to shoot. So let's take that down as well. Now here's the second four that we shot. Well, technically the first four that we shot. A 136, but this looks a lot, lot bigger than the 148 that we just shot before. A little bit confused about that, but a very, very good looking bighorn sheep for sure. And I'm not too sure what he's actually missing to be diamond. I feel like this guy looks massive. Like, he looks really, really big. Let's compare it to him. That other one looked bigger than this one, and he scored 11 points lower. Slightly confused by that, but I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just missing something there. And then our gray is here as well. Nothing really crazy. I'm not going to tax this. I have quite a few of these, but still a very, very good find for sure. Now, as we move over to a little bit more of the pronghorn hunting, um, I want to know, what do you guys think about pronghorn coming to Mexico? Would you like to see it? Would you not? So, similarly to the prong, to the bighorn sheep and the mountain lion slash leopards, would you like to see them or not? Because... I know there's different opinions that different people have, and I'd like to know what you guys think, just to kind of have a, a general idea of what people would like to see or what people would not like to see uh, in terms of animal. I know I've talked to a couple of people, and a couple of people really want to see some kind of an Ibex on there, considering that it is looking like it's a decently amount of mountainous and some desert areas, and I know a lot of people want to see mule deer on there as well. So I don't think mule deer is the big question, but about some of these other species, such as the jaguar or the pronghorn, what do you guys think? Would you guys like to see that? Or do you have a completely different thing that you would really like to see? And well, here's our three, just a 78, but still a gold with a nice double lung hit and our four, which I was hoping we would get a heart shot on, but I aimed a little bit too high, scoring at an 83.8. Well, we've got a good group of pronghorn here, including a piebald as well. And I know that these uh, pronghorn piebalds are not as rare. They are basically still as common as they used to be at the beginning. At least I think that's kind of how it is. Um, I want to try and almost get at least three of them here. But with how alert these guys are... Uh, can I get that dark still? Yes, I can. No, that's not a good hit, though. That is not a good hit. He should stop down or slow down. 
Ooh, that might not have been a good shot at the beginning there. Ooh, okay. That wasn't the best shooting, I'll be honest there. We at least dropped, I think, two here. And then we might have to go ahead and track that third one down. And here is our piebald. Just a small, small level two. And the kind of more sneaky piebald, I guess. It's not quite as sneaky as that mule deer, but it is still a rather sneaky piebald. But they're usually pretty easy to spot just because already they're already there. Kind of this orangish fur part is usually a lot lighter than any of the other ones. And it looks like we actually only chopped one prong on here and got two non-vital organ hits on the other two. So we've got a little bit of tracking to do and hopefully we can actually still find these pronghorn. Now this is not one of the threes that we originally shot but it's another one that I just brought down. I just actually forgot to say anything um, while I was shooting it but I am still currently looking for the other two uh, that we did manage to hit. And yeah, they're both going down rather slowly here. So I found the first, well, the second one that we shot, which is the, well, dark one. Now we still have to find the other one that we shot at the frontal angle and oh, it's actually dying right over there. So they both kind of ran the same distance. I am curious what we shot here though, because I actually thought that we dropped this one, but oh, we shot right as it lowered its head. It would... Oh, I actually thought we hit the one that's behind us, but this was the other one standing kind of broadside, I think. And we shot it right in the horns, so shooting an animal in the horns will actually bring it down. I did not know that. I actually thought that that wouldn't matter if you shot an animal in the horns, but apparently it counts as a flesh hit. Uh, as long as, well, this doesn't show us something wrong. We killed an animal by shooting it in its horns. Never managed to do that. Never had that happen before, but it's rather interesting if you ask me. And here we go. Here is our piebald from today. Absolutely amazing looking thing. I really like how this looks. Kind of has a different piebald to it. I, I've said it before and I'm, I'm going to say it again. Uh, I kind of like when the piebalds aren't always the same. Like if we look kind of at the black children here. Um, I kind of think, actually do I have one in the body mount? No, I don't. But... The black children, I feel like they kind of, almost all the piebalds look rather similar uh, in the game. Now, I like how the red deer and the elk actually look. They look kind of unique and kind of different as well. Now, the white children also look different as piebalds, but they, they kind of almost look too commonish. But I'm not going to complain because they at least have something unique going on with themselves. But I, I really like how these rows are com in comparison actually look. I'm, I'm a big, big fan of them. Um, and similarly to how some of the other animals, like the red deer also looks, when they have a little bit more of that vibrancy and like that pop in their color in terms of the piebald. I really like that, but I kind of also like these subtle changes that they have with these Rocky Mountain Elks. Now, obviously, he was very uneven, but I think that kind of makes him unique and even more special. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do remember to go ahead and smash that like button as it really does help the channel out a lot. Also, if you're new around here or you just haven't done so yet, please do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new videos or I live stream. And with that being said, have a good day. Bye bye and peace.